In my last video, we worked on table dynamics. This time, we will work on adding some dust elements that will kick up when the table breaks. I'll open my last table break scene. The dynamics have been baked, so it shouldn't change or need to be calculated anymore. To create the dust element, which is a smoke fluid simulation, you need to 1. Add a fluid with type set to domain, which defines a bounding box where all the volume will be calculated. 2. Add a fluid with type set to flow to define where the dust or smoke will come from. 3. Optionally, you can add a fluid with type set to collision, but I will not use this here. Before I start with the smoke fluid, I will set the simulation working range. Now I will drop a cube that will become our fluid domain. From the physics tab, add the fluid modifier and set the type to domain. Go to the last frame where all the table pieces are scattered. Move and scale the box to encompass the table pieces. I didn't encompass some of the extreme pieces as I knew they will not be visible from the camera's viewpoint. Keep in mind that the larger the simulation gets, the longer it will take to run the simulation. I'm going to change a few settings. We want the bottom of the box to act as a collision border. Check bottom on the border collisions. Check adaptive domain. This will allow the domain box to only calculate what is needed instead of the entire domain. Check dissolve and set time to 150, which will dissolve the smoke over 150 frames. Change vorticity to 0 0.05 to allow the smoke to swirl a little as it moves. Set the cache frame start and end to 215 and 372. This will help it avoid calculating frames that don't need the simulation. Select one of the table pieces. I will set up the fluid setting for one piece first and copy the modifier to the other pieces. Add a fluid modifier and set the type to flow. Set flow behavior to inflow which generates smoke inside the fluid domain system. Since our dust is pretty much at room temperature, I will set the initial temperature to zero. Set surface emission to one. This will allow the smoke to start closer to the mesh. With your initial table piece selected, now select the rest of the table pieces. Hit the hot keys, Control L to bring up the link menu. Select copy modifier, and this will copy the modifier to the other table pieces. Now click the other table pieces and check to see if the fluid modifier has been copied. To stay organized, rename the cube to domain and move it to the top level of the outline tree. Hit play to run the simulation. You'll notice that the smoke is too thick and large, and that's because the resolution is too low. Increase the domain resolution divisions. For this dust, we want the smoke to start falling as soon as it gets scattered. Set heat to zero as it doesn't apply here. Set the buoyancy density to a negative number to have it start falling. I changed the surface emission to 0.5 to make the smoke start even closer to the mesh. To have the smoke gradually get thicker as the table breaks, we need to animate the density.
After you are done with the animation of one piece, select the rest of the table pieces, right click the parameter, and use copy to select it. This is looking better. Now I'll increase the resolution division to 128 to see the smoke with better detail. We will also now change the cache type to all. This will allow you to bake the fluid simulation cache for final render. Generate a viewport animation by going to view Viewport Render Animation. If the viewport looks dark, you need to go to Render Properties, scroll down to Color Management, and set the Viewport Transform to Standard. Once the viewport animation is complete, play it back by going to Render, view animation. Looks good. Let's set up the materials. Drag out a window and set it to the shader editor. Make sure the fluid domain is selected. Create a new material and delete the universal material node. Bring in a volume medium and connect it to the volume input of the material output node. The volume medium will give you all the settings needed to set up your volume. If octane looks too bright, change the color management back to raw. To make it look more like dust from the environment, we will tint the scatter color to a bright and desaturated brown or yellow. The dust seems a bit thick, and I want it to dissolve more. To fix this, we will animate the volume medium density settings to gradually go down. Save your file and render out the animation. Here's the final render. There's always more I can do to make the smoke look better, but we'll save that for an advanced video. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, I would appreciate a like and a sub. Until next time.